Hey guys, welcome back to Lindy Lou Productions. It's Courtney here and Lindy Lou. <laughs> um, she is eating hay out of her hay bag as her legs soak. I have them scrubbed um, with the medicated shampoo. They aren't, I'm kind of frustrated. I thought that I would just make this vlog to give you guys like a little bit of an update on her. Um, I had the vet come out Thursday. It is now Tuesday. And on Thursday when the vet came, her feet, while well, her pastern fetlocks looked really good. Um, the vet was like super happy and she was like, I wish I would have taken a before and after picture to kind of show people what a diligent owner can do. And I was like, yes. Um, and then today, well really I was here on Sunday and they looked horrible. They looked like kind of puffy again, um, just really crusty, like a lot of crusted blood and pus and stuff. And I was like, what is this? Um, they did clip them when they were here on Thursday. And I'm wondering if kind of the lack of hair covering it now um, and her rubbing it on her bedding in her stall or hay or whatever just like really irritated it. Um, and I'm wondering if they gave her almost like a little bit of clipper burn too um, because they still look pretty rough and I'm not really sure why. Her back right foot was fairly swollen um, whenever I came in. Sorry for the shaky camera, I'm holding my arm way out. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just kind of upset. I, I don't really know, cause like she has been on the antibiotic straight since, you know, she's been on at this point for two weeks. So I mean, I was actually gonna take her off of it um, per the vet's suggestion tomorrow because it will have been a solid two weeks since she was on it. So I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe I'll text her like a picture of her legs before I take her off of it, but how long can you really keep them on it? I mean, two weeks is, in my opinion, kind of a long time to be on an antibiotic. So, I don't know. I'm just really upset. I don't I don't know what I did to make them worse or, like, what's going on. But I don't know if it's kind of one of those things, it gets worse before it gets better sort of thing. I don't know. But, yeah, just sort of frustrated. So, anyway, um, that is a little update on her. Once I clean her legs off of the shampoo, I will show you what they look like when they're drying. And if you guys have any experience with this or have seen this before, comment below what you think. Um, if I'm being dramatic and they're not that bad or if they look bad, <laughs> let me know what you guys think because I would love to hear that. Um, but yeah. I have her blanket flipped up and her tail kind of folded in. Um, so that it was out of the way because that one section of her blanket had like a bunch of poop and stuff on it and I didn't want to get it all in my hair whenever I was messing with her back feet. But yeah, so um, this, it is Tuesday like I said, so this coming Sunday we are actually moving again. I think I might have explained that in my last video um, that she can't stay here. If she got that infected within less than a week. I can't exactly turn her back out because it'll just flare right back up again and we'll be back to square one, which is completely pointless um, for her and for me. So anyway, I think that um, it will work out at this new place. It's kind of a friend of a friend situation. She knew my, my dad a long time ago, so she's kind of been a friend of the family for probably 60 years or better. Um, she's a fairly uh, older woman and she has a small little place with just an older horse and little old uh, miniature and so Lindy will have her own stall and a huge big round pen to be turned out in every day and I'm gonna go every day and take care of all three of the horses um, in exchange for keeping her there and buy my own food and hay and everything and and call it good so hopefully it works out I am planning on vlogging it I do have to get a bunch of supplies this week like I have to get her a corner feeder for the stall and a couple stall mats um, and stuff like that so we will see you know once I get those maybe I'll vlog me getting all of the supplies I don't know how well you guys can see this but I just picked off a bunch of scabs so that's why it's kind of bleeding a little bit um, because I want the ointment to get as close to the skin as I can. So this foot is actually kind of the worst right now. It's a little swollen too. So sorry for those that are squeamish. Alrighty, clean 
doll. Her feet have the ointment on it, if you can see it. <laughs> that was a really cute shot of her nose. <laughs> and look, she has a big pile of hay. And we're good to go. I'm gonna take her halter off. And yeah, so that's the Lindy update for today. I know not real thrilling, but it's not going to be thrilling until I move her and we get her healed up. Um, I mean, I could ride her with her feet like this because she's not lame or anything, but I don't have anywhere to ride right now. Where I am moving her, I will. So I'm really excited actually to get riding her again because I finally got her weight up um, to pretty much where I want it to be, just maybe a hair more, um, like another like 15, 20 pounds and we'll be good. So yeah, so that's the Lindy update for today. Like I said, sorry, not real thrilling. Um, I did have a couple suggestions for a barn routine, like a daily barn routine or morning barn routine. I am going to wait to film that until I get to the new place um, because I already basically made a video of what I do here um, and at my job. So I'm going to wait until I get to the new place because it will kind of be a new routine with new horses and stuff. So. But yeah, guys, that was it. I will see you next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.